This is our castle in our town and from, from here the mountain goes up. My name is Gerhard Weibel and we're at the Brillette Farms in uh, Berkshire, Vermont. We milk roughly 600 cows and I'm the youngest of five siblings. My oldest three brothers are all full-time on the farm and my oldest brother's wife is also full-time on the farm. My dad, Hannes, bought the farm and my parents and three oldest siblings immigrated to here from Austria. So he started looking for farms in Canada in 1990 and then eventually he started coming down farther south to Vermont and so he really liked the scenery and the mountains here. He moved here at the age of 50 in 1998, knowing almost no English. My mom knew some English, but not a lot. So that was a big struggle for them. They had three kids under the age of 10 when they moved here. And then within the next three years, they had two more kids. So. He lived in a very populated area of Austria and he used to walk his cows to the Alps every summer and he lived in the Alps every summer with his cows. It was a completely different way of farming. He milked all brown Swiss, which was a big difference too. This is one Alp, it's called Alpelinda. And this picture over here is called Alpehausen. So first we moved to here, stayed there for maybe three weeks, then moved to this one here going around and here you could see across. So then we stayed here three weeks, moved back to here three weeks. And this is what we did for five times in one summer, moved with everything and then back home again. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, this is the road to, the, to here. Yeah. And like at 5.30 in the morning, the milk truck came and picked up the milk. Eight hours of walking way with the cows from the, uh, from the mountains to the valley. You had to come down to make the hay yes. and all that. And go up at night to milk the cows again. The bottom picture is a picture in the Alps. Um, so they were milking cows here and the way they milked them here is they had a manure tank. Uh, it was a vacuum tank. Uh, so they had a manifold on the vacuum pump which they hooked up to the milk machines and that's how they were able to milk the cows in the pasture in the Alps so they didn't have to go back to the barn if they were too far away. Uh, top picture that would be like a water trough and they had cold water coming from the Alps down into the water troughs to cool the milk. Yeah, that water is so cold, even in the summertime, it stays cold enough for the milk and they come and pick it up. It was us making cheese, up, so it, we, we called it bear, bear cast, mountain cheese. Uh, that, so that's my older brother, me, and my sister. Where we lived in Austria, it was yeah. it was just not because you're a farmer. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm not I'm not sure exactly how whole items I think had twenty thirty thousand people, so it was part. It was a city life. Well, not city, but to have a farm there is just not yeah. the norm. I guess you can say. Yeah. Put the bells on to walk from either the farm to the Alps or the Alps back down. No, when they came right? from the Alps. Oh, so, yeah. so it, when was, everything it was went a well. It was a festive thing to yep. for everything them to come back. Yep. Yeah. When everything well, went well and nothing died and they walked back home, that's when they did it. Mm -hmm. But they still do that. When we go now there, we don't feel comfortable anymore. It's not home anymore. People still do farm in the Alps. But it's the roads are narrow here, there, mm -hmm. crowded, it's hectic. Deep. In the city, anyway. I had a dream to be a bigger farmer than he was there. When I grow up, my father had four cows. And he made a poor living to raise. I can remember my the 
the, the war was over, just over, everything has to be built up on no money. Mm -hmm. I can remember my mother waited to sell 20 eggs to be able to go in the store. That was a, a special time maybe, but I can remember to buy two sausage to make me potatoes. Kadofi goulash, we remember. This goulash, a potato goulash or? Potato. Mm -hmm. It was some smelling for meat. We had nothing. I inherited four cows, three heifer, and three acres of land. No house, no barn. And then I, I build it, start to build. That is the boat. I build it that, that thing on my own. So that was the house that he built and then the barn, the, the barn goes in the back as well. So this was a hayloft and it had a, a it, it had a hayloft and there was a crane inside where you could move the hay around. And these, these are pictures of here now. That's Andreas. That was when he was probably five, he was driving our little Massey and that's Andreas and Mar Gerhardt over here. They were, they were greasing a, uh, PTO, proud as can be. I'm currently studying agricultural business at SUNY Cobleskill and also taking dairy classes and hoping to apply what I learn here when I come home. My uh, brother Andreas studied uh, ag diesel, I believe, at uh, Ohio, UNOH. And my other brother Ferdinand went to Clarkson and studied engineering. Uh, I think the main reason that I want to pursue farming is it's been in my family for a very long time and it's something I want to continue. It feels good to you know start with a calf and you watch it grow over you know a few years and then you it calves in and it starts producing milk and you can sell that product and you can see that you're starting with one thing and you end with something else. It's a family based you know job and we work very closely with family here. And one thing that my dad always taught me in particular because I do a lot more cow work than my brothers do, they're more mechanic, is he kind of drove into my head that even though we have a bigger farm than he used to have, is every cow matters. Like to think of the cows as if you're a small farm still. Uh, my dad wanted a farm that was bigger because he knew he wanted to have more kids, but he wanted something that he could pass on and something that he saw a future in. If I accomplish half of what my dad has accomplished, I think I'll be doing pretty good. A lot of memories.